Good evening, everybody. It's day, what, 11 of my diet on the carnivore diet. What's going on today? Um, actually, so I was in Cambridge, as you know, um, the last last night I was in, or night before last I was in Cambridge, didn't have a scale or anything, so I was quite, and I've talked a little bit about how I thought I ate too much and all that sort of stuff, right? So woke up this morning, was able to weigh myself again at home, and actually I'd lost half a pound. So uh, I really, in the end, I didn't have anything like to worry about on that. Again, trying not to over rotate on the weight part of it and actually on how I feel, but it is a fun part of it. So I'm down to, so I started at 100.2 kilos, which was 221.8 in old money. And I'm now at 97.7, which is uh, 215.4. So not too bad getting there. Um, it's coming down slowly. My BMI has gone from 29.6 to 28.9. So that's also good. So the numbers are coming down. And I did, yeah, so... And my body fat dropped back down again a little bit as well. So I don't know what's going on with those numbers. They don't seem to have any correlation to each other that I can see yet. Just looking randomly at the data. I was thinking about this though. One thing I have noticed is that looking at my sleep scores that I get from my watch, they are consistently better than I used to get even when I was going to the gym and stuff like all the time. And I wonder, I think I'd read somewhere that people slept better at night on the diet. And I hadn't really thought about that. But I do feel like I get better rest and I seem to be sleeping better. And if I wake up in the morning in the right part of my sleep cycle, I'm just able to get up straight away. I don't have much trouble getting out of bed, go downstairs, make a little bit to eat, just to sort of set me off for the day. So that's actually been... A surprising thing that I hadn't really counted on. I was sort of hoping that the arthritis type stuff would would have gone away, like straight away. But I suspect that that might take a little bit longer to to heal. So I'm just going to have to give my body time. I'm literally 11 days in the diet, so I have a long way to go. And I want to do another. I did a blood test not too long before. <clears throat> not too long before Christmas, and I want to do another one after maybe six or eight weeks. So I might either do it middle of February or end of February. I'll do another blood test and sort of see what my bloods look like because I think that might be really interesting to see what's going on inside. I also think that one of the things I was hoping that, I mean, I feel better and more healthy and kind of slimmer and not so bloated in myself. And I wonder, I think it's visceral fat that's on the inside. Um, and then you have the subcutaneous fat that's on the outside, right? Like on the outside of the muscles, but inside your cavity, I think that's called visceral fat. And I think that's what I've been losing because my stomach feels flatter and I don't feel the pressure sort of inside my abdomen anymore, which is really good. And it, yeah, anyway, I can still, you know, I've still got a, a bit of, I have a nice winter coat on, let's say, um, but it it's, it doesn't feel nearly as bad sort of as it used to. And I don't think it's, I don't think it looks as bad um, either, just being slightly vain. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, I didn't get to the gym again today. I had some stuff come up with work and I got busy. I, I have to admit, I'm really struggling with motivation when I was going to the gym all the time, it didn't matter what I did during the day, I would go to the gym. If it meant I got home at 10 o'clock at night, it didn't matter, I would just go. And then I would come home late. And if I was, you know, if I was staying in Cambridge, I would get up at five in the morning and go to the gym before I then had to get up at six and do work or, or whatever it was. And I just, I just don't have the, I don't have the drive to do that anymore. And I'm struggling with that within myself a little bit, just feeling like I need to have more discipline or something. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I go 
you know, when I can. And I'm, I don't know, I keep saying, yeah, I'm going to, I hope I'm going to be able to do it. And then stuff just, I keep making excuses and I need to stop doing that. So that's what I'm going to work on next week is trying to not make so many excuses and see if I can get a little bit more exercise. I have been doing better on my step count. So obviously the last couple of days I've had, you know, sort of 13 and 15,000 steps a day. So that's probably helped helped offset the the not going to the gym. But anyway, we'll see how we go. And um, we will check in tomorrow. Until then, hope you guys have a good evening. See you later. Bye-bye.